Hi everyone. Now there's always been a debate about what is more important. Is arithmetic more important or is algebra more important or between algebra and geometry which should I do first? What will have more weightage? Within arithmetic should I do time speed distance or skipping time dis speed distance is okay? Uh, should I know permutation combination? Is it really very important? And so on. These debates have always existed for CAT. Now, so what we did was basically we looked at last five years CAT that is from CAT 2019 till CAT 2023. We've looked at all of them in detail. We've gone through each and every question, divided them into topic wise and we've tried to understand what topic has what weightage. Not only area wise weightage but also topic wise weightage. So first let's talk about area wise breakup. So we looked at approximately 345 questions which was the last five years with all the slots combined. There were approximately 345 questions we looked at. Obviously, no surprise, arithmetic rules the roost. 137 questions from arithmetic. That is approximately more than one third. Nearly close to 40% of the questions are from arithmetic. Now, arithmetic also not only because it's an important area but it's also one of the areas which is very vast. So when you look at the breakup of topics, you will realize that yes, 137 of questions of, uh, from arithmetic, but there are a lot of chapters also to revise for that. Now, I also think why is arithmetic more important than other areas? Because when you actually look at how many level A questions are asked in CAT, a lot of them are from arithmetic. So out of these 137 questions, approximately a good 55, 60 questions will be uh, from level A questions or even more, of, more will be from level A. And hence, when you're searching for those level A questions, Arithmetic really helps you. Next important topic is arithmetic uh, algebra, which is approximately 80 questions, exactly somewhere in between uh, geometry and arithmetic. Now, algebra over the last couple of years has started becoming very popular. You know, uh, more and more algebra is asked. So, if you look at last three years or something, the number of questions of algebra are kind of equivalent to the number of questions of arithmetic. Geometry is approximately 50 questions, numbers is approximately 40 questions, and modern math 38. What I would want to do as I will go ahead and I will talk about the breakup of the areas, I will talk about what I would do and how would I prepare. So obviously arithmetic the most important area as I said. Now time speed distance has 29 questions. Now just look at the weightage time speed distance alone itself is 29 that is as good as say very close to what modern maths is between time speed distance and work pipes and system which is approximately 40. Uh, 47 questions including those two topics, they are more important than geometry or they are more important than numbers by itself. So you can actually look at time speed distance and work pipe and system and say this is itself a small module by itself, approximately 47 questions and it will still be very very important. So weightage for time speed distance is very high. I know some students have this phobia for time speed distance. There are a lot of different conceptual questions you know, questions on escalators, questions on um, basically upstream, downstream two people starting from different points and meeting at a point, then actually going back. That concept, in fact, a particular concept has been asked in the last three years, four or five times. When I mean the last three years, four or five times, in different slots, including they've asked this four to five times, which is the concept of after meeting and going back in a certain number of hours, where the concept is speed one upon speed two is square root of t2 upon t1. You can go through that concept. It is a very important concept. Also, there's a concept, as I said, on the escalators, sometimes races, uh, number of meeting points and so on, time speed distance becomes very, very, very important. Lot of level A and level B questions are there. Yes, there are a couple of C, C's also, but you will not find too many C's over here. Means and weighted averages will be next topic, which is very important, 21. So this will include all your allegations and mixtures and everything. And there is allegation mixture, the 13 other questions also. So actually, again, if you combine those two, because they are very close by. So a lot of average questions, you know, average of so many people in the class, one goes out, one comes in. All those type of questions are very important. Work pipe and system, my favorite area, 18 questions for me, that's like the best area to do for CAT. It's the easiest area, I think. You should definitely do that. Then again, percentages, profit and loss, ratio proportion, simple interest, compound interest. If I combine all of them, there are a good 50, 55 questions, which is very similar thing. You know, once you know percentages and then you just need to know profit and loss ka some properties. You know percentages, you need to know simple interest, compound interest ka properties. They're all combined topics. You can't do, you can't say I know simple interest, compound interest, but I don't understand percentages. That's never going to be possible. You will need to know successive percentage change or successive discounts to understand simple interest, compound interest. Same way you will have to understand profit and loss 
uh, if you want to understand profit and loss, you will know percentage and so on. And same way, ratio proportion also has a good 14 questions. Mixture of allegation, 13 questions. So, total of 137 questions for arithmetic, arithmetic out of 345 makes up a huge chunk of your syllabus. In fact, you know, there is a belief that if you do only arithmetic really well, really, really well, if you do only arithmetic and attempt that only on the day of the CAT, you will still be able to comfortably clear the cutoffs. That's not the advice which I'm giving you. But basically, that's some data I'm giving you that number of questions asked from arithmetic and because there are more A's in that, if you really revise that area well, you can clear cutoffs through arithmetic. So, you can always look at it that, that I'll clear my cutoff through arithmetic and my bonus will come through algebra and geometry and so on. Algebra is getting popular now. Last couple of years, more and more algebra is asked. Yes, difficult algebra is also asked. So, you can't say, I would not say it's getting popular now. I mean that it's being asked more. It is never going to get popular. But still, a very important uh, point over here, a lot of people think algebra is difficult. But you notice that 28 questions from linear and quadratic and higher order equations which can be solved. These are the questions, I would say those 28 are not the difficult area. Yeah, the 14 on functions, inequalities, sum on polynomials, maxima, minima, all that I can still understand that lot of commerce students have a fear against these questions. But people who are engineers who have worked towards their uh, J mains entrances and J advanced entrances should find this area pretty comfortable and should be able to clear them. But otherwise for the commerce students, the ones who are not very comfortable towards algebra, I think you should definitely focus on linear quadratic and a little bit of polynomials and equality which will help you get through the area. So you might not be 100% comfortable with area but if you can reach a 50% 50 to 60 percent, uh, you know, accuracy or mastery in this area, it will be good enough for you. That is how you should work towards it. Next, geometry. It's always a concept heavy area. I need to know geometry. If I need to know geometry, I need to know concepts. I need to know what a polynomial theorem is. I need to know how Pythagoras theorem is. I need to understand similarity. Everything, you know, I need to understand these concepts. If you don't know the concepts in circles itself, there are so many concepts. If you know the concepts well, you will be able to do questions. Important area for me is quadrilaterals, poly polygons and triangles. In fact, it goes like this. First, you revise triangles. From triangles, you reach quadrilaterals. From quadrilaterals, you reach polygons. And that is 31 question, nearly more than 60% of your uh, geometry. Yes, quadrilateral geometry can be a pain for some of the students. Otherwise, mensuration is a pretty formula-based area. Circles has a lot of properties. Trigonometry is something for again for uh, non-engineers I would say it's okay if you skip it because there are only two questions why rack your brain behind two questions out of 345 questions which which means the chances of being asked at CAT are very very rare. So geometry isn't I would say that would be my third important area after algebra. Yes somebody like me who loves geometry more than algebra can always say okay I will do geometry as my second area and algebra as my third area that is also not a bad idea. Numbers. Even if you don't want to do the whole numbers, you know, my point is you cannot escape factors. You need to know property of factors really well because based on factors, a lot of other questions can get solved. So you need to understand factors. There's no choice over there. If you notice log, surge and indices itself is 27 questions. I've been harping about logs, 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 keep doing logs well because logs, surge and indices by itself, I would say even if you start from scratch, it is not more than a two day revision or two day thing to know everything about these topics. Uh, indices, surds and logs if done together is not more than two days work and a good 27 questions which is not a bad weightage out of the 40 questions of numbers because all the other except factors, all the other topics are one or two, one or two questions. Yes, you need to know basics of HCF LC because that can be used in other topics also. Modern maths. I am sure a lot of people hate permutation combination do not like probability, don't worry about it. Go through only progressions, AP, GP. For me, that becomes very, very important. Also, according to me, you know, AP, GP is an area which can be really revised by a lot of questions can be solved by putting values. You really don't need to actually solve them. And hence, those 28 question, 24 questions out of 38 make up a big chunk for me for AP, GP, uh, for modern maths. Yes, a lot of people will consider logs in modern maths. I don't have a problem with that. Wherever you consider, logs is an important topic. So that doesn't matter too much where you want to consider it. Numbers would go down, uh, modern maths would go up. 
whichever way you look at it, this is the way you should look at quant. If you go through each area and you tell yourself, that's yes, arithmetic will help me clear my cutoff, geometry, algebra, and a little bit of progressions. You know, so as I said, even if you look at the first topic of each area, except uh, arithmetic, if you look at the whole arithmetic together, and then if you look at, say, in algebra, you look only at linear quadratic. In geometry, you look at only triangles, quadrilaterals, polygons. In uh, numbers, you look at only log thirds and dices. And modern maths, you look at only progression. That would make it like 15 chapters. Out of 35 chapters, I've narrowed it down to 15 chapters. If you do these 15 chapters also really well, I'm saying more than 80% of a syllabus is, con uh, is covered. And hence, you can easily, easily aim for even a 95 percentile in quant and the cat. Well, I hope this helps you understand the whole weightage and breakup and that whole debate about which topic should I do and which topic I should not do is rested today. Best of luck, everybody.